Meantime, the community board that investigates claims of police misconduct in Nashville is in danger of disbanding. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs live at the state capitol where lawmakers are considering a bill that would put Metro's community oversight board in the crosshairs. And Kelsey, I know you spoke with the COB's executive director. What does she think? Well, Rory, Jill Fitchard says if this bill becomes law, it would be a sad day for accountability in Tennessee. Now, she testified this morning here at Cordell Hall and asking lawmakers to vote no on this proposal that would limit how review members look over police misconduct in the state. Now, she says that it gives these board members just three days to hand over these complaints, and she says that's just not enough time. It be allows for a municipal governing body to create a police advisory committee that uh, is adopted upon an uh, ordinance of two thirds votes of that city council or municipality. Representative Elaine Davis and Senator Mark Pody are pushing a bill to abolish community oversight boards or COBs and give local government the power to create police advisory and review committees to make recommendations for complaints against officers. Unlike community oversight board members, this bill says members will not independently review citizen complaints and instead hand them over to internal affairs units. The purpose of the committee is to strengthen the relationship between the citizens and law enforcement agencies to ensure a timely, fair, and objective review of citizens' complaints. Jill Fitchard is the executive director of the Metro Nashville Community Oversight Board. She testified in opposition of the bill during the House Criminal Justice Committee. Well, I think it's an unconstitutional bill. 134,000 voters of our city said that this is what they wanted. I think it just sets a dangerous precedent that if they come in and can change the will of the people, what's next? I don't know what they might do. In a statement back in February, Senator Pody said that COBs are great concepts and beneficial to communities. But he also said there have been instances in Tennessee of board members overstepping their bounds and behaving in ways that hinder rather than enhance certain investigations. Fitcher says the state is misinformed. It changed our charter. It amended our charter. It was in, now it's included in our charter. And that's what the citizens of this city wanted. Now, I asked Fitcher if she plans on suing the state if this bill becomes law. She says she doesn't know what the next steps are, but she will consult with legal departments as well as attorneys on the next step. And this bill has already passed the Senate. Reporting live in downtown Nashville, Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5.